Bitcoin just hit $1 trillion last Friday. It's one of the strongest publicly traded assets to date. How did this happen? Should I put my money into Bitcoin? What about Dogecoin? Many of these questions are going to be answered in this video, so stay tuned. Hi there, my name is Javi Shekaiwan. Welcome to my channel, The Foreigner in America, where I teach locals and foreigners everything related to the markets, investments, how to make, manage, and reproduce your hard-earned money. So if you like money topics like this and channels, please subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so you don't miss any one of my two weekly videos. Also, make sure you check out my Instagram at The Foreigner in America and my blog at theforeignerinamerica.com. Bitcoin is very particular because it was created as a cryptocurrency with an extra layer of security under transaction. It's not controlled by banks or governments, and it's limited to 21 million coins worldwide. Different from Dogecoin and all the other cryptos, Bitcoin is limited in amount. The other coins, you can just buy an infinite number of coins. So their price is not gonna scale the same way. You can compare Bitcoin to gold right now. Actually, one Bitcoin today is more valuable than a kilogram, that 2.2 pounds of gold. Just imagine that. But gold is just bigger in amount. All the gold in the world is valued today around 10 trillion dollars. And besides Apple, Alphabet, Amazon, Microsoft, and Saudi Aramco, Bitcoin is now the sixth largest market cap at one trillion dollars. So why has it gained so much traction? Simply because more companies and investment firms are now looking into it and are allowing people to invest money in Bitcoin with their funds. Tesla, for example, just invested $1.5 billion on Bitcoin, and they're allowing people to pay for cars using Bitcoin. That's a game changer. And also the biggest investment firm, BlackRock Investments, are allowing two of their funds to invest in Bitcoin futures. The problem here is the chicken and the egg situation. So back in the days, Bitcoin was $20,000 a coin. And a lot of people said, don't invest on it. It will not go up. It's a bubble. So some people did, some people didn't. The, the people that did, it started going up. So they were happy. And the other ones pretty much shut their mouth up. And then it just dropped suddenly 20% in a day. And then the other way around, it just flipped. People that didn't invest, the naysayers were like, I told you it was a bubble. And the other people were like chilling. So it's a never ending discussion. It's like talking about politics. There's no right and no wrong. It's just people arguing about it and it's an endless conversation. But now it's different. With companies like Tesla investing one and a half billion dollars on Bitcoin and investment firms like BlackRock allowing funds to put money on Bitcoin, that's a game changer. The problem here is that Bitcoin has become very exclusive because it's super expensive. At one coin being worth between $50,000 $55,000, I mean, for an average person, that is a down payment for a home or a down payment for a rental property. But they're saying that one Bitcoin will be worth $300,000 by 2030. And if that's the case, you need to be invested at least with one coin today. But Bitcoin is not for the average investor. It's not for people buying penny stocks or just having like thousands of dollars in the market. This is more for seasonal investors that can buy one, two, three coins and hold them for a long time. Even if the market corrects itself and it just drops 20, 25% in a day, that's not a problem because long term, I can guarantee Bitcoin will be much more valuable than what it is today. This market is so volatile that a single tweet from a person like Elon Musk can change the price of Bitcoin 10 or 15%, either drop it or make it go up. That's the only one thing I don't like about the stock market. Different, for example, from real estate, that you have a piece of land, 
No one can change the value of that land in a day that it goes up or down, except if you own the mineral rights and you found oil underneath, but that's a different story. Let me give you my insight for this topic. Investments are based on risk. The more risk you take, the more money you can lose and the more reward you can get. And let me tell you the tiers. You can put your money in a CD or, or money market account. That's very low risk, very low reward. Then you have index funds with stocks and bonds diversified. That's low risk and low reward. You have real estate with leverage. That's about a medium risk and also a medium reward. But Bitcoin, my friends, that's very high risk and very high reward. So if you're ready to take that risk, go and invest in one Bitcoin today before it gets a lot more expensive. If you like my video, give me a like, subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so you don't miss any one of my two weekly videos. And follow me on Instagram at The Foreigner in America. Until then, I'll see you next time.